I just want to take a moment to talk about the analogy for gas behavior that is a bouncy castle. Now, many of you have likely seen a bouncy castle or know what it is. For those of you who don't, really all it is is almost this inflatable building that kids can go and jump around in and bang against the walls and jump up and down and bounce off the floors and bang off each other. And the reason this is a good analogy for gas behavior is because really the kids are like the gas molecule and the bouncy castle is like the container that those gas molecules are in. So if we want to talk about the state variables of a gas, the four state variables, we can equate that to the analogy. And now we have a picture to wrap our head around to help us better understand real gas behavior. So if we want to talk about pressure, Pressure is the kids hitting the walls and the floor and the ceiling of the bouncy castle. Every time they hit one of those, the bouncy castle is going to kind of respond to it with the force of collision. That force of collision is the pressure being exerted on the walls of the bouncy castle. The volume is really just how big that bouncy castle is. They make bouncy castles for three or four kids. They make bouncy castles that can handle 30 kids. That's just the size of the container. Now, if we imagine a bouncy castle could, could actually change its volume, that's really like a balloon. Whereas a bouncy castle that can't change its volume is like a steel cylinder that you might get helium to blow up party balloons with. Temperature is really the energy that the gas molecules have on average. And so temperature is kind of like how much sugar have we given those kids inside that bouncy castle. If we have a bouncy castle at a birthday party and we fed them cake and chips and soda and whatever, we know there's a whole lot of energy about to be expended. That's the equivalent of a gas at high temperature where each molecule has a fair bit of energy on average to move around with. If those same kids had jumped into the bouncy castle before all the birthday cake and all that stuff, then what we're going to find is those kids have much less energy. This is like a much lower temperature sample of a gas. And of course the last thing, the last state variable, is the amount of gas, or in this case how many kids are in the bouncy castle. As you put more kids into the bouncy castle, that's the equivalent of putting more gas molecules into it. So here we have an analogy. If you can remember kids in a bouncy castle, you're already well on your way to understanding what's happening to gas molecules in a container and the four state variables that represent that gas.